Fire Reporting Paradigm Shift BDR Fires Quick Search uses every fire resource, field and subfield and allows selection criteria to be excluded from display or extraction. BDR Fire creates encrypted data downloads and reports using end-to-end encryption of PII and PHI to ensure sensitive data is never exposed. Our GUI, with checkboxes for Fire's R2 through R5 version resources and fields, selects all patients that meet the user's criteria. In this first example we are demonstrating the selection of Fire R5 version and using the resource search to narrow in on the first resource we want to select the field and subfields from for the report. Next, we add field level searches to find the fields and subfields we want to report on and select them. We are now searching and selecting more fields and subfields from this resource. Now we have searched for and found the patient resource and are selecting the final fields and subfields to create the first in a very simple report and click on the run button to execute this fire report process. Now we are viewing the results of the requested fire report that could be for a patient, healthcare professional, or analyst. Sorting is available by each value returned. Now the user is selecting the icon to download the reporting results. The user is being prompted for a password for the zip file that will download the data in an encrypted secure format and a microservice to decrypt the data with the correct password that the user is now entering into the process in the graphical interface. Now the user is attempting to open the zip file and required to supply the correct password. After three attempts the process is ceased from being usable. After entering the correct password, the user can see all the files from the download. Now the user opens the CSV data, and we can see the data is secured with AES-256 encryption. Now the user clicks on the decryption microservice and is prompted for this password that will create a decrypted version of the secure downloaded encrypted data. As we now see since the user entered the correct password, they are able to view and work with the data in an unencrypted format. We are now demonstrating the configuration of a process by the user to write the information in the returned fire report and instead of downloading this report to their device the report will be written to the database and file name of their choice. Now as we refresh the database we can see in this table, the results that were in the fire report on the graphical interface. This report is created encrypted though we are showing the data after a decryption process with proper authentication in an unencrypted format. In this example we are creating a similar report as the prior report by searching for and selecting the resources in the resources fields and subfields. The only addition in this report is we are going to make a criteria selection for just the city of Dallas and request that the field the criteria is selected from to not appear in the report. This can be by choice for not disclosing information that may be personal or revealing of information that the user deems too private to show. Now we select the run icon, and the process begins. We are viewing the resource information we ran on and now that the process has completed, we are viewing resource columns we added selection criteria for but did not list in the report, and the criteria which the user added to limit the report to their desired results. Here we see the results of the report for just patient data from Dallas though Dallas is not shown in the results as requested. Here we are showing the user can work with fire releases 2, 3, 4 or 5 versions. Based on the user selection only the resources and fields for the version will show to be selected by a user. If the user wants to switch, they select this icon and would click on the import icon to change the available resources and fields. BDR Fire's search criteria does not require a patient identifier to build results. Criteria may be simply a particular disease, medication, area of residence etc. BDR Fire encrypts sensitive private data to meet CCPA, CPRA. GDPR and HIPAA regulations and to defeat the efforts of hackers. End-to-end -end encryption aids in quick recovery from ransomware cyber attacks. We prepare you for the July 1st, CMS regulations. BDR's Spark 3.x, Java, Spring Swagger framework is scalable, automated and greatly enhances healthcare reporting. For more information, reach BDR at 847-440-4439.